Go ahead, brother. The priest said, this is uh, Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I will send for many fishes, says the Lord, and they shall fish them. Right now, that's what we're doing right now with fishing. Like when Yahusha came to um, the Apostle Peter and his brother Andrew, okay, and James and John, they were fishermen. They all worked together, but he said, I'll make you fishers of men. And that meant that he was pulling in men through the word. Mm -hmm. The word is what is how we're fishing men right now because we're looking for the, um, the 144,000 and the one third of the nation of Israel, you know. Mm -hmm. But, you know, go on, bro. And after I will send for many hunters, yep. and I will hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the, the holes of the rocks. That's right, exactly. So after the fisher, fishing season is done, the Jawabah Shem Yashai is going to set up hunters, mm -hmm. which the hunters is the same men that was fishermen. Huh. So those same brothers that was actually pushing this word is about to be um, set up to destroy the Edomites, man. Huh. They're going to get spiritual powers and hunt you devils out of every hole that you may be hiding in because... There are million, billion dollar bunkers that the elites is even reporting on right now that they're building to um, escape the <laughs> thermonuclear destruction. And the only reason why you're uh, going to escape the thermonuclear destruction is so you can go into captivity, man. That's right. Okay? And if you got any niggas in there amongst you, we're going to put them niggas to death, man. Because the niggas, you ain't going to put no jakes in slavery. We're going to just kill them niggas, man. Yeah, that's you saying, both niggas that, that want to protect these Yeah. They, uh, they showed you in that, that game, your brother that played it, uh, that Far Cry 5, shows you all the dudes and bunkers and shit Esau got set up. And the game is based in Montana. So it shows you Esau building in the clefts of the rocks and the, and the mountains. Yeah. And it shows you all the all the different bunkers that you got to go in and raid and, and fucking gather supplies in and stuff like that. Esau's got shit like that. Like millions of dollars worth of bunkers everywhere. And that's just one state. The game is based in Montana. Here in Kansas City alone, you probably got triple them out of bunkers. Yeah, a lot of caves. Out there. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. So many caves, and and this is one of the one of the richest cities in the United States. is, is right here in uh, in, in Kansas City, Missouri. Best kept secret in this country that yeah, Kansas City is a really rich city, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, they just don't advertise it like that. But you know, you got Johnson County, one uh, like the fourth. Which is counties in, in America, man. Yeah. Oh, I want to say this real quick, Slocky, but hey, you niggas out there that's selling bulletproof vest garments. Fuck <laughs> hey, you. Man. That's right. You know, that's that's crazy. crazy. That was you niggas, man. <laughs> hey, bro, hey. And hey, that brother. 50 caliber will straight through that motherfucker. Right. Turn that motherfucker into cotton. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Check on that. Check on that. That ass fuck shit, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nothing. <laughs> Kevlar, a tough one. Ain't nothing but ass fucking. Hey. Hey. This is the real bulletproof here, man. That's right. For all you bulletproof monk niggas out there that think you're going to dodge the bullet, yep. you ain't going to be the fulfillment of Jeremiah 1616. Yep. Because for one thing, you have a bulletproof garment, that deprives you of faith. faith. Yep. 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 This thing is about faith, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Bulletproof garment. Like, what the fuck? You nigga. You know what, man? Hey, man. look, the Lord just set you dudes up to push the milk. That's it. Right. You you didn't get what y'all did. Y'all didn't already didn't seal, but whatever y'all was gonna do, you got the basis of the twelve tribes out. Mm -hmm. That was your whole purpose. The elect, man. Hey, show me in the scriptures that Yahweh shot told Peter to wear a fucking Viking helmet on, man. Right. Yeah. He's He's saying, go put, on, put on, on a girdle. Put on, put on a uh, uh, outfit. Get a, get a shield. I mean, how was shot had a girl. I mean, we were warriors right. in case you got into battle. But nonetheless, man, you got to walking that. around we, with that we, shit. We're in different times right now, man. This is strictly upon faith, man. Because, hey, how was shot said? He said, look, if I come on the earth, shall I find faith? Shall I find faith? But you know what? I, the only water is when it was in battle. Right. They didn't, they didn't walk around every day with, with, oh, you, really? with your goddamn pull up blue vest on and yeah, you know, your. Put his golden girdle on. <laughs> and it was prophesying, the scripture says specifically, they was out there in sackcloth. Yeah. Rough garment, sackcloth, that's it. So yeah. Where the fuck you get all this shit from? Yep. And plus, it, 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 you know, it's not, you know, when when, when the Most High said, uh, put on the whole armor of the Lord, yeah. that's hey. it. 
You got niggas that's like putting on a dragon shield, man. Motherfucker yeah, yeah, yeah. got, 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 got a polymorphic and shit, man. The motherfuckers in St. Louis that was called and had fucking shoulder pads on and shit. Oh, yeah, those carnival niggas. Yeah, yeah. Can I read this? Go ahead, brother. This is 1 Thessalonians 5 and 7. It says, For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and right. love, and for a helmet this hope of salvation. That's spiritual. That spirit right there, man. And the day is talking about having an understanding and wisdom of this truth, man. Meaning that we're in the light. Because day represents light, and dark represents darkness, man. You know? So we ain't getting dragon daggers and all that shit, man. No. We're not summoning up Tyrannosaurus Rexes and calling dragons over out of the water. Not yet. Not yet. You know what I mean? <laughs> you dudes out there that's so incorporated on your carnal your carnality, you're gonna be taken by it because you're trying to use carnality to deal with a carnal being. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it boils down to. Uh, this is all about spiritual things, man. That's right. Because the spirit of the Lord or the spirit of faith is what's going to get us through this battle. Yep. Now who got the biggest bazooka in the room, bro, oh, man? Because he's open and the blow this, blow this fucking block up, man. He ain't even got to physically touch this Blankinson and drone and uh, evisperate old fucking what, city, what man. What good is the best if, if Esau sent a robot in your fucking house? <laughs> what what is a, wait, what is the best going to do to a fucking drone or a nuke? Can, can he nuke this whole city right now, bro, with, with, without even yeah, getting it? Yeah. He, he can just send one of the motherfucking uh, dogs in there and, 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 and the bar your fucking, he gonna chew your ass up. The best ain't gonna chew stop. right through that. A dog, yeah, a dog yeah. will bark through a best. Yeah. Yeah. Chew your ass yeah, up. Yeah, he saw him gotta shoot you because he, he like, obviously nigga think he don't say he got a vest. He sent a dog in there. Man, man, send two dogs up in there, motherfucker. And wait a minute, you niggas out there, you stupid. You know that these devils aim for the head. Yeah, they shoot yeah. the yeah. kill. Yeah, they, they, they marksmen, man. Yeah. He saw he's trained to know if you got a vest on or not, man. He can yeah. size up your body movements. He can look at you and look like, okay. You all puffed up. He knows when yeah. to shoot you. He saw us putting one in your fucking head and two in your eyeballs, man. He's going to lay you down. This man is a marksman by birth. <laughs> yeah, you need to put fringes on a Viking helmet. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, man. They got fringes up in the like I got fringes on. They're trying to hide them. So he's not going to blow your ass away. Right. You, better, you better have a bulletproof cranial helmet with fringes on it. You better off be like, I'd have gave you more props if you, got, like, if you had, like you like said, a bulletproof helmet. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, something. He aiming for your head, yeah. not your chest. They ain't said that in rap songs. I'm aiming for your head, not your chest. Yeah, if you kill, you, if you come in to kill somebody, where you gonna aim for the fucking head? <laughs> yeah, that's you aiming and chesting up, bro. I mean, but you aim at the face just in case they have a vessel. I mean, these you know that live have been shot all over their body. They live. Yeah. A lot of them shit, be my, living through shit. My brother getting shot ten times. That nigga's you, you get hit in your head. You remember Those wasn't even real that fucking we went to in Chicago. Yeah, they yeah, just got like he got shot like eight man. times in front of that snow. He still them shits wasn't bulletproof, man. You know, so, hey, my brother might be Tupac, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to be one for the live off them dome shots. <laughs> you got a hole in your head, you pretty much dead. That was real bulletproof. Don't go get him. That's when they kill him as a missile. <laughs> Dodie had been shot with every bullet. Oh, wait, Dodie, how you survive with 50 cal to the neck, bro? Damn. Who's <laughs> that news? Uh, the Chicago rapper right now got shot in the neck. Uh, uh, so little like vegetable little Reese. Reese. He the neck. He from Chicago. From he just got put down. Got shot in his neck. Yeah. I got a clip on my list. Yeah, niggas, man. Go ahead, bro. This second Edris chapter 16, verse 17. It says, Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? Uh, the beginning of sorrows mm -hmm. and great mourning. Right, man. Keep the beginning of great. So like, great. Great. When the Bible put emphasis on these particular words, great. You know what I'm saying? Elias, Jacob's trouble, man. Great. You got so many different words in the scriptures, man. Like when you read these, these scriptures and you put yourself in the spirit, when it says great, that ain't just a, oh, just great like Tony the Tiger. No, man. It's a whole. That is, it's, it's feeling behind that. It's, 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 it's it's a whole emotion behind it. Great is going to be Jacob's trouble, man. That's right. 
they gonna beat it some shootout over barbecue because nah. the nigga ain't get his pork. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? It's gonna be, bro, like to the point that death is gonna be nonstop. Yep. It's just like right. the levels gonna keep up, and bro, it ain't gonna be no declining. Yep. The decline is gonna come when after, when the, the kingdom come. Yeah. Jacob's right. trouble is gonna be like this. Step yep. one, two. It's like playing a, a fighting game, bro. Every level gets harder. Yep. <laughs> so you gonna be able to, you gonna smell the death. Death gonna be just thick. You smell it. It's just gonna be everywhere. Say so body's gonna be as dumb on the earth. Yeah, then it's yeah. Uh, I think Ezekiel's uh, thirty eight speaks about that nose being stopped up. You know what I mean? To do to uh, to the, all the uh, dead bodies. The stench. Yeah. 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 Second Edges sixteen eighteen. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. The beginning of famine and great death. Mm. Great death. Man, Great death. Saying. And that shit that's going on in Venezuela right now, hey, that's they ain't even, they, that's minuscule to it, but they ain't even covering that. Yeah. And people getting put down like monkey, like dogs down there. Mm -hmm. Go to the border, man. Mm -hmm. they ain't hey, you know why they stop covering certain things? Why they got a media block out on shit? Mm -hmm. Caravan and shit. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's they, like Esau is literally more. How many Jakes you think Esau had killed since the border crisis? Unheard of. Hundred. Yeah, down there, probably, probably down there a thousand. He saw he playing with niggas, is he? Uh, he saw he playing with niggas, man. Twenty 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 is like gonna be some stuff. shit, man. Yep. All right, through the spirit, we gonna see some things that's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. We can't tell you what, but hopefully through the spirit, it be the the year of our Lord, man. That's right. Get the fuck up out of here. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know, cause you niggas, man, you wanna stay here in fucking Babylon, man. Mm -hmm. Fuck Babylon. Mm -hmm. All right. The beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. The powers, who is the powers, man? These yeah, devils. Just, yeah. These governments, man, they in fear. Because, hey, the things that they incorporated for so long, they put so many billions of dollars into controlling these wars, setting up winners and losers and dictators, you know. And then all of a sudden, when things get out of their control, they're going to fall back. Sure. Because, like, the common economic collapse, hey, brothers... They planning that, but it's going to get so bad to the point that it's going to be out of their out fucking of control. control. Yeah, yeah, They're going to have to flee this place like, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, we ain't expect this shit. Damn. Oh, hey, we ain't expect this, this, this shit. This shit like this. Bad it's going to backfire. Fuck. You know, <laughs> backfire, it's, a, it's, a, it's a higher power of work here, brothers. Yeah, that's you right. know what I'm saying? And they going to be like, wait a minute. We planning just to be this, to get niggas on board with the New World Order. We didn't think it was going to be like this. It's going to be beyond that shit. It's yeah. going to be into the abyss. Yeah, they pack right. it up. They <laughs> pack it up. Like, nah, fuck this. We finna get our shit. We get the fuck out of here. And they going to leave, they gonna leave you, 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 you lower level illuminaries, yep. like you congressmen, you senates, and you, you, you low reasons. level, you fucking uh, tobacco drinking Edomites out there, man, that work your state. They ain't going to leave you here to get fucking nuked, man. Because they ain't gonna understand, but it's it gonna get to cannibalism. It, motherfuckers gonna be eating yeah, motherfuckers. It's, kind of, kind of. it's gonna be bad as fuck. You go like them zombie movies. You see when motherfuckers just eat. It's gonna be like that. Yeah, like, these yeah. gonna be eating motherfuckers. Ah, just eat motherfuckers. Yep. Not only that, but uh, <laughs> but the rest of the scriptures gonna come to pass. These fucking creatures gonna be coming out. Uh -huh. when, you, when you have that much satanic yeah. e energy of evil all at one time being unleashed, yeah. then the spirits gonna come out. Oh, right? it's something called it's a, a chimera. It's yeah. something when they basically mutate a uh, substance with a different species, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It, like, they mix a pig with a pit bull or something like that, man. Shh. What do yeah. you think gonna happen? Oh, man. I'm splicing genes and shit. I'm like a chimera, man. It's basically a, a, a fucking eating machine. Yeah. The yeah, pigs is gonna be fucking eat. Killing machine. It's gonna be a lot of shit. And the demons gonna be walking. You're gonna have all, you're gonna have like hundreds of thousands of exorcisms, like, type shit happening at one fucking time. It's too much level of, 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 of demonic energy at one time, so much shit is going to be unleashed. Yep. The Lord's going to unleash his creatures upon the earth. The fucking, like the brother just brought out, them test, them test lab creatures, the ones they got contained, they're going to fucking break loose and get out because ain't nobody going to get paid to, to keep them shits in no more. Mm -hmm. So you, not only going to have all the fucking sedition among men and, and these, these shootouts and shit like that, he's not going to deal with this. So yeah, he's going to be like, man, I didn't, I didn't bank on this shit to happen. Yep. Uh, right. Damn, what, what the fuck did I just unleash? The ultimate evil you just unleashed. That's, hey, that's what it said. But guess <laughs> what happens, guys? The Yahweh Shem I said, good and evil come from Yahweh Shem right? Mm -hmm. So that's what you're going to get for, for pissing him off, man. And guess what? This country is a fucking graveyard. God. We live on yeah. a big cemetery, man. Mm -hmm. You know, Native American burial ground. 
That's right. That movie Pet Cemetery, they showed you some shit in that, man. Right. You know? The new one. Yeah. Yeah. And then the old one, too. Really, the old one more than the new one. The new one was bullshit. You know? Well, go ahead. It said, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. And like this brother was saying, it said, the beginning of evils. It says, what? Shall evil I... goes back bad to bad times, times man. Yep. Evil. Ill. Ill goes to bad and evil is evil is time. times. Because yep. that's when the bad times are going to hit America. And the bad times is actually going on right now. Mm-hmm. And it's only going to escalate and get worse from here on. Go ahead, bro. And then, j- key word on the beginning, man. Because it ain't going to tell you what it's going to be like when yes, it escalates. It ain't gonna, this is showing you the beginning, man. It said the beginning. Oh, man, say on the dedication party, said it's levels to this shit. <laughs> it is. It's going to get to the worst level on you, bitch ass nigga. Right. It said the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils come? Verse 19. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anger are sent for scourges for amendment. Verse 20. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of their scourges, man. Mm. So even with all this shit going on, you niggas still gonna be wicked. Yeah. You need might still gonna be wicked, man. Mm-hmm. Y'all brothers got it. Yeah, because, I mean, I, I just be meditating on that shit sometimes. Like, when you watch these movies and these actual documentaries on when people get possessed, this, it was a motherfucker that was living a really wicked lifestyle for that shit to take place. It just happened. It didn't just come out the blue. Yep. The motherfucker was doing some demonic shit, whether playing with Ouija board or was an Edomite that just was time to catch as hell. But if you think about when you got a whole entire nation of committing demonic shit, yeah. think of how many possessions it's going to take place. Well, yeah, just niggas that, nigga, if, you, if, if niggas are uh, a gang member, you're, you're a demon. You got a demon on you. Yeah. Yeah. Heavy demon. If you're, if you're like somebody that likes to steal and shit from your family members and shit, you go to the crib and you, you pick up people's phones and shit, you got a demon on you, man. Yeah. Or you like to do drugs, you got demons on you. So that's, that's basically the uh, the culture of the society. Every, everybody is in a demonic state of mind because they're doing activities that they're influenced by demons to do. Well, that's so like everybody that everybody seven, got demons. Who we'll set that up, though? You saw, you saw the key. Yes. Easy E. He's yeah, putting yeah, he's yeah. putting demons on people. Yeah, not Easy E. Look, <laughs> he easy. Society? He cool. He cool with it. But he just be setting that shit up, man. Right. Easy E. Easy E, boy. I Sweet. mean, he, that's the that's the deceptiveness of of, of, of of Esau, man. He, he he real easy with it, man. He just and then he come out like he and then he'll be like, well, he's who, a serpent? Me? Yeah. who me? Yeah. I'll just he's a He acting <laughs> like. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Right. Yeah. You but, tell him but, it's his fault. But that oh, bitch ass nigga is exposed now. He saw the serpent. Yeah. Yeah. That's that serpent like shit. Hey. He said he was something to all the all beasts of the, beast of the, the field. field. Huh? So he's able to come to you and th- make you play on your feelings and your emotions and make you do something that's wicked. Because he would tell you, well, look. Like he came to Eve. He said, well, the Lord knows that you're going to be immortal. So look, if you listen, you'll get eternal life. Right. But he didn't tell her that you were going to fucking pay for it, all the wickedness you do. Yeah. He didn't tell her that she was going to go through all kinds of he, bullshit. He gave her half the spectrum. Half, yeah. Yeah, half you know? truth. That's yeah. She thought did. she was going to die only, right then and there. He only gave her the good side of what the fuck he was saying yeah, to her. Man. He didn't huh? give her the negative. <laughs> like when y'all watch him, y'all shot, he, he tell you exactly, look, if you do this, I'm going to put you to death. Yeah. You know, With Satan, he tells you only how you can benefit from it, but then he doesn't tell you how he's going to reap advantages from you. Hey, See, he, like, like, uh, like the flu vaccination, they tell you it's going to cure the flu, but they don't tell you they give the shit. Yeah. 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 That's why when he, when he said, you won't surely die. See, he thought, like, I'm going to die right instantly. Right. No, no, I never said that. He never said that. He <laughs> said, you're going to die. She took it literally, like, right now, like... Boom, if I do that, bam, I'm gonna die right on the spot. But should we talk that when we ready? Yeah, when we ready, you you think you're gonna die on the spot. Like, damn, but you see, you on his time. You're not on your time. You're gonna die in a period of time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not right now. And it's just like, you know, I told the disciples, they said it, it'd be many uh, 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 that standing right here that, that won't taste, taste death. death. But did that mean they weren't gonna die at that that time? Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, that's how cold. That, that, that's the that's that prayer bond talk. It's so cold that you got to be in the spirit to understand that people. Yeah. It's like Christians think that that meant right then and there. Exactly. 
Like, like yeah, and that f that messes him up. Cause like, wait yeah. a minute, what is he talking about? They did die, yeah. but that was talking about reincarnation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, vision is yet for a point in time. Uh -huh. you know, if boy don't bless you, man. You just you. The scriptures is just your downfall. You just be like, <laughs> fuck, man. Just put the book down. Yeah. The scriptures can destroy you, man. They destroy you, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's why you just got to hey, 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 you need Bible, a teacher. That's why you need a teacher to to help you guide you through this. The Bible should come with a, a discretion, with a yeah. warning. <laughs> 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 put a warning. Put a warning. Put a warning. Read this at your own <laughs> health, God damn it. Yeah, yeah. This motherfucker yeah. will kill you. This body, yeah. this book will kill you. You commit suicide, spiritual suicide on that, man. Like them Christians, man, they done. They mm -hmm. basically took the sword out and said, they fell on the sword, man. Put a warning label with a goddamn scarf read for at your dead own, on, on the motherfucking Read at your own discretion, man. The scriptures is really like uh, Jumanji. You ever seen Jumanji? Yeah. The first one, she rolled them dice. Yeah. You win it, man. You, it. <laughs> you <laughs> fucked up. It's on. You win the game, yeah, man. Yeah, we on the board now, about bro. To, you about to crap out and shit. That shit like Monopoly, <laughs> bro. Like a Jumanji game, man. Hey, you ain't collecting gold. You ain't going fast going collecting $200, man. Well, you got you be best bet to get your ass thrown in jail on that Monopoly, oh, man, dude. <laughs> These scriptures ain't no joke, boy. Yeah. Motherfucker land on Park Place to pay $100,000, man. You be better off doing that than diving into these scriptures, man. These scriptures is like a portal. It's a wormhole, man. It'll suck you in there. It's, it's, it's basically, that's why uh, apostles say uh, the most high is like the ultimate mob boss because once you get in, ain't no getting out of this, man. Only right. It's only one way in and one way out of this. That's right, man. That's why you gotta think that you how about showing shot. You know how lost you was before you really understood these scriptures, man? You I just be like, damn, man, I was fucking goddamn Who wanted to fuck oh god, god damn man. I didn't know a fucking thing. Right. It, it barely make you humble like damn man, I didn't know shit. Going to for shit you th but you thought you knew. Thought, thought you knew some shit, but boy, you ain't know a fucking thing. Right. And when you read that same scripture, you thought you broke down 15 years ago, and you read it now, you're like, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. <laughs> in different like, perspective. Fuck, man. But they say it, uh, it hit different. Yeah. It hit different yeah. when you read it. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Versus, yeah. hey, man, you get into the truth, man. That's like virgin pussy versus the <laughs> fucked up shit you now, man. man. God, this is different. God. Yeah. All, all your years in yeah. Babylon, you would never fuck your birthday. You get some of that so like, damn, damn, you get hell yeah, you right, stuck now. Make you bust and, and, and as soon as you touch it, you thought you was bust it off. Hey, you thought you was <laughs> hey, you thought you was good on Tasha. Fuck that, you got man, you got Katana in this motherfucker, bro. She put out the fans on your ass. <laughs> it caught you in that web. <laughs> Like, oh, this, 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 this really that, that, you know what I mean, that virtuous woman, man. You know, you once you get it, you want to you wanna hold on to it. But this is only for the men of the last That's why this is only for the elect, because only the elect is going to get these scriptures and actually hold on to them and, and cherish them, man. Right. You know, it's like you had a virtuous woman, you're going to treat her, oh, oh damn, I'm finally, fine. you're going to treat her right. Yeah. Right. You know? Right, yeah, and hey, these scriptures are women. They, hey, not you, you fucking women out there, man, all right? This, you only leave her, she won't leave you. You faithful to her like I tell you she's faithful to you. Yep. All right, which proves that it's very scarce women out here because only scarce men can understand this. Mm -hmm. Which proves that you women ain't ain't gonna come in. You women, you're you're sporadic and few. You know. Well, go ahead, we gonna shut it down in a minute, man. I got a precept. Go ahead. And I'm uh, uh, piggyback what you were saying. Uh, uh, y'all was talking when you was basically saying about all the wild beasts and all that because this time is gonna come and all hell is gonna break loose. When everything is going to be, uh, you know, a destruction or, or some a trap for you to get caught up in. Uh, this is uh, Job 5 and uh, 21. It says, <clears throat> it says, uh, thou should be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Right, the scourge of the tongue, man, being this media shit, the, the, the false accusations, man, the news, all that crap. They're speaking against us. Read that last part again. This is Job, Job 5 and 21. It says, Thou should be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Mm. Neither should thou be afraid when destruction of destruction when it cometh. Right. So when all hell break loose, like right now, they're spreading a narrative that we're terrorists. We ain't afraid of that. We laugh at it because, okay, what proof do you got, motherfucker? Yep. And then they're going to do all that to justify them gathering up the UN or whoever they're going to use to kick down doors. Gather us up, 
put false CNN clips out there, show uh, uh, deep fakes and all that on us. At the end of the day, when the destruction comes, we're going to still be like, okay. Lord, it's real, we of that number. Mm -hmm. If you bug the fuck out, like a lot of guys out there that claim to be Israel, like you niggas going to bug out. Yep. Uh, Mahara, Moose, whatever your name is, nigga, the Lord going to fucking kill you, man. I recall. You a damn demon, nigga. Right? You ain't a man of the Lord. Yeah. All right? Go ahead. The next verse, uh, 22, it says, At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. That's right. right. And so wait, when the animals, etc. Really, that beast is going to Esau. Huh. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We ain't afraid of this fucking devil. Yep. Because hey, if he was afraid of him, we're back down now. After he put the whole Hebrew ritual like, like you got your hunters, fucking, uh, uh, fucking Muffet baby looking ass. Uh, well, we ain't doing that. We ain't got nothing to defend, man, because we ain't do nothing, and you know that. You think we trying to vindicate ourselves in front of these wicked ass people out here? You don't give right. a fuck about you niggas or you damn hunkies right. see us on CNN being terrible. Right. We don't give a fuck about you because we ain't trying to fucking convince you a damn thing because you were already destroyed. That's right. Yeah. True. That name, uh, Maharaka means of the spirit. Of the spirit. You're not of the spirit, nigga. Yeah. You a damn nigga, man. Yeah, man. Demonic spirit. Look at your, look at your congregation. <laughs> They're killing people, man. The incarnate. And you an adulterer too, you, motherfucker. You got dreads. You got dreadlocks. And you do it. And you a fucking adulterer, man. Yep. You a fucking adulterer. The Lord gonna kill fucking adulterers, all right? That's right. You That's damn right. nigga. This bitch shit. We ain't look. We ain't gonna put you on a pedestal here. We ain't gonna fuck if you did cut Bo Cal Malone. Fuck that nigga, but fuck you too. Yep. Cause you ain't nothing but a fucking demon, man. That's right. All right. We ain't give. We, we get credit when credit is due. But you ain't sincere. You are about an image, motherfucker. So when the Lord come back, he gonna visperate your monkey ass. Mm -hmm. And you ain't gonna repent. And I pray you don't repent, man. How about that? Now say that we hate our brothers, nigga. Fuck you, alright? Go ahead. That's pretty much it on that. I got one last one. Go ahead, man. Y'all got anything else? You, you brother? No, I don't Go ahead, bring that out. All right, this is uh, Daniel, chapter 2, verse 20. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of the Most High forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. Verse 21. And he changes the times and the seasons. Mm -hmm. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. Mm -hmm. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. He revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness, and the and the light dwelleth with him. So, you know, the Lord is, is the one that set up Esau. The Lord that's going to take down Esau. The Lord is the one that gives us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. So it's it's not, ultimately, it's not of us. It's of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshua. We're just living out the movie. You're the ultimate chess player. Ultimate chess player. Yeah, that's playing, right, brother. Playing, playing Esau. You got the puppet strings on Esau. Got the puppet strings on two thirds. Yep. Got the puppet strings on everything, man. That's right, man. It's beautiful. He's it's playing it all man. out. He's the ultimate author, the yep. ultimate director. Yep. The Producer. ultimate script writer. Hey. Stunt man. Ain't nothing. Ain't, ain't nothing. <laughs> he ain't got nothing many many titles, titles, man. Pyrotechnics. Yeah. He got all that, man. Damn. Damn. The Lord doing the stunts too. He diving out the window and filming that yeah, shit. Makes it all, baby. The Lord, man, Lord man, called man. cut, cut. Yeah. Damn. Why? Like, he remember that? Remember that uh, commercial with Bo Nose? Bo doing every goddamn thing. That's such a Lord. Lord doing everything. Bam, got it all on lock. And they go out of cow. You know, when the movie go off, the credits and shit, they got the names. It's going to be the Lord, 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 the he got the thing, you know how you have to say, hey, he, he got yeah, it all popping. The boom mic. the Lord, you can play the extras. <laughs> yeah, he got it popping. This is the damn Lord. You know how the way you know, Lord be cheesing. Ding, that's me. Yeah, yeah that's the Lord, bro. That's me, too. The Wayne's brothers, man. Nah, they fucking direct everything. And fuck, he was like, message? It was the fucking yeah, Wayne's brothers, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord, he got his hand in everything, man. All right, yeah, I man. Uh, he exists. He's, uh, he is. He is. He's everywhere. 
You know? Shit, the Lord is taking his credit. Right? Look, the elect, the Lord. Right. You can't be the elect without the Lord, man. It's, it's like a, uh, a Tyler Perry movie. He's Tyler Perry playing everything. Yeah, yeah, everything. Right. Damn, he Brian Medea, he Joe. <laughs> Incredible. You know how you know how Jake ain't got no budget, so you gotta play everything. <laughs> right. Jake had them low budget movies and shit. Jake making beat Jake, movies and shit, Jake, bro. Jake everything like uh, it was on uh, Netflix. The uh, uh, Dolomite. Yeah, Dolomite. Yeah, he, like, hey man, can you play it? Hey, we ain't got that much money. Dolomite. <laughs> he said you grew up on him. He said, well, I guess you gotta go. You gotta go. After you finish your homework, man. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. like, oh, I gotta play that sex scene. He's like, I thought they were gonna bring somebody in there like, uh, he, he wanted to <laughs> like, afford like, the yeah. Like, he afford the extra. I guess I gotta do it. <laughs> so, Fuck it. I'm you know, good. You gotta, you gotta do everything. We ain't got no budget. That's right. Yeah. But y'all got more precepts, man. Yeah, yeah that's it. Right with that, we're going to give all praise and glory and honor to you. How by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, by Shem, Kadash. Double honor to the elders, the apostles, the great millstone. Blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. There's peace in the gospel. Broad lifting up the standard. How by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, wherever it may be. And with that, above, above. Oh, and oh. Lord's will, it be the year of our Lord. That's right. In 2020, man. That's right. With that, Shalom. Shalom. Baba Ball. Baba Ball. And a Habba to the Yaha Akim. Habba Thumb. Habba Thumb. Shalom. 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 Shalom.